Hello, um, I'm here to give you an update on the clover study. Uh, my name is Deirdre Hennessy, I'm a grassland researcher here in Moor Park, and this is Ellen Fitzpatrick, PhD student who's also working on clover. Um, so in our clover study at Moor Park, we have three treatments. We have a grass only treatment, getting 250 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year, grass clover getting 150 kilos of nitrogen, and grass uh, clover getting 100 kilos of nitrogen. They're all stocked at 2.74 cows per hectare. Um, so currently the cows are um, nearing the end of the sixth rotation. Uh, they're going into pre-grazing covers of uh, 13 to 1400 kilos of dry matter and they're grazing down to 4.2 centimetres. Uh, clover content uh, is heading towards peak now on the clover treatments and on the clover 150 treatment the clover content is cur currently 39.5% uh, and on the clover 100 it's almost 28%. Year to date the grass 250 treatment has grown 8.3 tonnes of dry matter per hectare and the grass clover treatments both of them they have grown 8.4 tonnes of dry matter per hectare. Um, Ellen's going to fill you in now on um, the milk production um, at the moment. Um, in terms of milk production, the Clover 100 treatment group are currently milking 21.9 kilos of milk. This includes uh, 1.95 kilos of milk solids and a fat percentage of 5.14% and a protein percentage of um, 3.84. The Clover 150 cows are currently milking 22.33 kilos of milk. Their milk solids are 1.92 kilos. Their butter fat is 4.9 and their um, protein percentage is 3.79%. The grass 250 um, cows are currently milking 21.24 um, kilos of milk. This is based on 1.7 kilos of milk solids. Their fat percentage is um, 4.44 and their protein percentage is 3.56. This week our um, measurements involve carrying out an individual dry matter um, intake estimation for each of the cows. This will give us an indication of dry matter intake between each of the different treatment groups. Thank you. Mm -hmm.